Hello, welcome back. I hope you had a great holiday season, a great new year, and all the fun to go with it. I've been doing some cool remodeling. I found this rock, tried to move it. <laughs> well, water burst through it, and I left it. But then somebody tried to jump in it. And you know something else you should jump on? That subscribe button so you don't miss any of my episodes. And that like button, too. <laughs> You're going to like this one. I've been busy. I haven't been sitting on my laurels. As you can see behind me, I'm going to start with this lovely little greenhouse. Hello, kitty. How are you doing? Yes, is a cutie. <laughs> I found this really cool way to harvest sweet berries. And in here is the greenhouse interior. It's nice and big and spacious. And although right now it's got this wheat field in it, it's going to be home to my bees. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a greenhouse slash apiary. And it's going to be an automatic honeycomb and an automatic honey farm. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be filled with flowers and bushes. Oh, hello, sunset. Alright, and over here, yeah, pay no attention to the animals. They, they'll they get their homes too. But I've done some sprucing up with adding some decorations. Eh, it's too dark. You know what? Give me a minute. I'm going to go sweep. There we go. Ah, smell of a crisp morning. Uh, you know, I took a whack at making a custom tree, kind of like a weeping willow, but you see, it's growing out of this boulder. I thought that was a neat idea. And I've also been laying out the foundations for the rest of the village here. Yeah, see? Pay no attention to the dirt. It's temporary. But we've got farming stalls, there's going to be shopping stalls, there's going to be all sorts of cool little buildings in here. And, you know, I added some more cacti, some more plants. It just brings a little bit of a spice to this area. And this. Yes. <laughs> this was a lot of fun to do. As you can see, as you've seen in the beginning, of course, this village now has a name. That's right. The villagers call it Cappadocia. What a funky name taken me long enough to finally figure out the local lingo. <laughs> eh, translation. Not my forte. But yeah, they called it Cappadocia, and this fountain that once was here eh, fell to ruin, and well, I built it back up. It's supposed to be herald to their heroes. And, you know, something else that might be cool. I mean, you don't need fire in a desert, but it's still nice and warm and cozy. How about a tour? tour of what I've got so far and how I've what I've been up to. We'll just take a look around, you know? And you know, you've seen all of this over here. There'll be more stalls, some more shopping bits here and there, and who knows, maybe villagers will just randomly pop up like they've been doing. It's incredible. This little building here is the library hall. Now, these guys are my librarians. This is where they can be kept safe and sound. And they're protected by the great Jelly herself. Hello, Jelly. Now, you keep watch over these guys, and if they give you any trouble, well, you know, you put them in their place. And over here, I came up with an idea of a map. This way, I can watch as the village grows and expands on this tiny little island. And everything I've built up so far, I just, I thought it was a neat idea. Granted, I probably should have done a locked version with nothing on the land. I had to see where it went was before and then after. Um, I'll keep that in mind for next time. <laughs> uh, what do you guys do? Do you guys do maps too? Let me know in the comments below. But, you know, you see, th when I was saying the villagers just popped up randomly, I woke up and these stalls had appeared. And these villagers had also appeared. It was so cool. Oh, um, I'll be back to help you out, Mr. Golem. I'll be back.
but you know we got my docks here another villager who appeared out of nowhere uh yeah i don't know where they're coming from it's incredible over here we've got a little parkour to get to the fishing shack this was fun to do <laughs> a little spot for two i mean after all you gotta go fishing with a buddy it's just unheard of if you don't go fishing with a buddy it's just not right you gotta have fun including cards and board games and pops and sandwiches and campfires and all sorts of fun things oh maybe boats too yeah i gotta add some boats that's coming and you know over here we've got the little overgrown path to the sh to the abandoned shrine the village hall and then we head back over this way yeah i've been working on the villager houses i'm trying to flex my builder muscles you know got to get them working somehow someone please let me know and tell me of golem's rust i mean mine seem to be bizarrely attracted to the water this is temporary it's just a placeholder for now and over here is our pond i had to give the pond a rim to keep the axolotls in thank you i'm a little farmer for your name suggestions for the axolotls they were wonderful thank you and it <laughs> axel here seems to be attracted to the corner and you know they can swim around in here Let, let's see if i can't budge this guy out of here see. come on out you come come on little fella out you come out you come yeah, no come on okay yeah, this way maybe this way uh, yeah, okay no nope. all right i'll now oh, well the other three are out over here swimming happily as can be soon we'll have a whole lot more <laughs> they're so cute There'll be lots of axolotls in here one day. And, yeah. I mean, it's not much, but it's my little slice of paradise. But you know what else has happened since the last time you've seen this village? I had an interesting encounter with a wandering trader. He had a book and a map with coordinates. And he dropped them at my feet and then ran away. After telling me a story, of course, about Kringle Vale. A beautiful place full of lights and snow and all sorts of pretty holiday designs. You know what? I am going to go see it. But we need proper attire first. I've got several colors of wool. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a masterpiece. Well, a sweater, of course. I mean gotta be dressed for the weather <laughs> let's do this <laughs> da, 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 little bit of this Come on, yeah a little bit of that this here perfect eh, ta-da what do you think do you think it's festive enough now i know the holidays are done but you know what i lost track of time in this in the lovely desert heat and I think we need a break. And I have Matilda here, my book, my map, and all of my gear for a lovely travel out 3,000 some odd blocks away, according to this map. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Uh, okay, where's where's my lead? Uh, I need my lead. Um, lead? Uh, ah, there you are. Alright. Come on, Matilda. Let's go adventuring. Let's find Kringle Vale. And let's go have an adventure. Yeah. This is terrible. <sighs> you know, if only I had known the troubles. We've lost Matilda. And, you know, I don't know where she went. But the snow may have taken her. But we have arrived at our destination. So let's get out of this hole and take a look.
Hmm. You know, I think I want my money back on this map and book. The, 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 the trader painted a very pretty picture of this place. And it's not what I was picturing. It's a little abandoned. Uh, I was picturing a thriving village. Uh, partying. Fireworks, maybe? Ooh, 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 maybe he knows what happened. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Snowman. Uh, Mr. Enchanted Snow Person. Yeah, uh, could you tell me what happened and where everybody is? Um, please? No? Uh, translating. It's gonna be fun. Wow, look at this place. Even run down, it's so pretty. Ooh, 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 what's that? Ooh, so much to explore. Eee! It's a little run down, but you know what? I bet all it needs is a little TLC. Ginger Snap Tavern. Hmm, cool. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the place, stick around a while, and see what we can do, and maybe the villagers will show up. But that'll be all for now. That'll be in the next one. I hope you guys will be there. So tune in next time. Same space channel, same space station. <laughs> Later, folks.